Hi everyone, this is Phil from It Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the tech hover skiff in Arc Genesis. The Tech Hover Skiff is an amazing new vehicle available in Arc Genesis. It is good at so many things, but the thing it is best at is being a bottomless pit to throw your element into. In order to unlock the Tech Gram for the Tech Hover Skiff, you're going to need to complete the final test, at least at Gamma difficulty. You do this through Helena, and you need to unlock it by completing enough missions throughout the world. But spoilers ahead, if you do not want to see the final boss being killed, skip ahead to 53 seconds in this video. By defeating the final boss, you will receive not only the Tech Hover Skiff Tech Gram, but also the Tech Gram for the Tech Replicator, the Dedicated Storage, and Tech Claws. When you've unlocked the Tech Gram for the Tech Hover Skiff, you will see it not in the Tech tab, but you will see it in the Genesis tab, right down at the bottom. There it is, right there. In order to craft the Tech Hover Skiff, you will need the Tech Replicator. I'm saying tech a lot. Uh, go into the Tech Replicator. It's not in a subfolder. You will see the Tech Gram for it right in the main part of the menu. It requires crystal, electronics, element, metal ingots, oil, and polymer to craft. Once you craft it, you will think it's in the Tech Replicator, but nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, I searched for it. I couldn't find it there. So when I leave the Tech Replicator, uh, I'm in for a bit of a surprise when uh, behind it is my Hover Skiff uh, sitting in... Not too elegant of a uh, position, but hey, it's a start. Uh, to drive the hover skiff, simply get up near the hover skiff and press E, and you will start driving it. And you will notice there are three gauges, one for fuel usage, one's a fuel tank, and one for element available. This should provide you with a pretty big clue as to what you're going to need to do to fuel this thing. That's right, you're going to need to put a stack of element into its inventory. And once you've done that, simply go back to the drive position and press spacebar and PC, and boom! You're flying in your very own hover skiff. Now what you'll notice immediately on the left is a fuel usage gauge. If you're sitting very low and moving very slowly, the fuel usage will sit at one, and you can see the fuel tank is, is reducing fairly slowly. As you move, the fuel usage will increase and the fuel tank will drain more quickly. Fuel usage increases as you increase in height and as you increase in speed. If you increase in altitude beyond 50 meters, you will go from a hovering state to a flying state. Now, the flying state uses a remarkably higher amount of fuel. You'll see the fuel usage here is 40, 50 times, 60 times. So if you go to an extreme height, you will see that the fuel usage color will stop being green and start being yellow or even red. Once the fuel has been totally expended, uh, it will then consume an additional piece of element. Using the primary attack button will toggle on and off the tractor beam mode of the tech hover skiff. If you're in that mode and you use the alt attack while aimed at a creature, you will draw that creature to the hover skiff and it will attach to it. While the creature is attached to the hover skiff, it will increase the fuel usage of the hover skiff, so do be mindful of that. Now, in order to release the creature, simply use the primary attack again. This mode is amazing at picking up even very large creatures. As you can see, this Bronto is capable of being lifted by the tractor beam. And once it's on, you'll see my fuel usage has quintupled. So uh, don't expect to be traveling with this thing too far unless you are just laden with element. The tractor beam is not without its limits. It is incapable of picking up very, very large creatures, nor is it capable of picking up any creature from the ocean. When you target your own creatures with the beam, the beam will turn green in color and you can use it to move them left, right, up and down, wherever you want to place them. Do I see a game of chess in my future? By pressing X on PC, you will initiate the hover skiff's landing procedure, which will extend both its landing legs and a cool ramp. If you're using the hover skiff at night, you can turn on its headlights by using the toggle weapon attachment button, which is by default N on PC. If you've landed your hover skiff in an awkward position, just click the nudge button on the context menu and you will shove it a little bit of a distance. If you decide to teleport while using the hover skiff, make sure first off to be in the cockpit of the hover skiff, but even in that situation, it will end up being above you, so don't forget to bring a crossbow with a grappling hook. 
The Tech Hover Skiff is also capable of using Unstable Element as a fuel source, so if you put that into its inventory, you will see it listed as an alt fuel in the lower right of its HUD. The problem with using Unstable Element as a fuel is it won't completely fill the tank. It will be used when the tank hits 50%. You can see here I hit 50% and the tank refills and my alt fuel is gone. If the hover skiff gets damaged, you will see a 60 second timer start. And once that 60 second timer finishes, the hover skiff will slowly start to repair itself. This auto repair process doesn't seem to consume any resources and it is done in a fairly timely manner. You are capable of building on the hover skiff. Here I'm going to place a few foundations. Foundation placement is a little janky. I went through a few foundations placing these down, but once you've done that, you can also place other things on those foundations like cannons. Now cannons are very, very useful because they are needed in the taming of the Astrocetus. And of course, why would you not want cannons on this thing? It's like you're a space pirate now. Do you know any more tips about the Tech Hover Skiff? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. And as always, have fun out there!